Hey everybody, how's it going? I gotta sneeze. <laughs> okay, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We're gonna do a viewer game. We haven't done one of these in a while. So we're playing Nubiator from India. He's a slightly higher rated player than I'm uh, typically used to playing. I'm gonna play an unrated game here. Just so my uh, rating doesn't get nuked. I believe he was going for the light square bishop trap here against the Karl Khan. I think I've seen this one before. So a handful of people have been asking me what I'm going to do. What happens when I reach a thousand ELO, if I'm still going to make videos and everything. And my answer is, what if I never reach a thousand? <laughs> I get to do this forever. <laughs> I'm joking. But no, the channel is going to um, self-implode faster than the uh, Ocean Gate sub. No, it's not going to do that, but um, I'm going to make other content. But uh, let me see. I'm going to try to think of a move here. I always go back and forth between like b4, bishop b4, or knight e7 here, and then try to get the knight out to like g6. Kind of go back and forth here. I've had mixed results with the bishop b4 move. I think I'm just going to play the knight move and just try to look for this g6 thing here. Okay. But uh, yeah. On a more serious note, I do want to make other types of content, chess related, other than just trying to do a raw ELO grind. It's uh, it's cool and everything, but honestly, it's taken me a lot longer than I thought it would. So I kind of just want to do other things at some point. Um... Probably c5 next. Castle's queenside. Very cool, very cool. I've played a handful of Karo games like this. Um, I'm going to go c8, c5, and then try to get the bishop out. I think I played a very similar game either last week or like two weeks ago. Remember a very similar setup. Guess I'm not castling queenside. <laughs> um, just go c5 here. A6 definitely seems like the move, but I kind of, I'm debating if I want to give up the pawn or if I want to take his pawn on d4 here. I'm trying to just sort of weigh my options here. I think I'm just going to go with the A6 move. Also, kind of just considering, I mean, it's doing that bug. That bug really drives me nuts. There it goes. Um, yeah, probably no choice but to give this up here. He's probably going to come in and protect this just so I can't take it directly with the queen. That's what I'm imagining happening at least. Debating between pushing up and just taking this pawn. Just taking... I'm, I'm 
I'm going back and forth between just taking more space in the center. Versus trying to unleash an attack here. One second, guys. Rental duties call. Um, okay. The great debate. Could castle as well. I don't know if I love castling. Taking the pawn here. If I take the pawn, g7 is going to be a bit exposed. I think I just take the pawn here and open this up for the rook. I think I'm winning the pawn on c2 as well after this move. Since these are kind of lined up. Ah, he takes with the knight there. Mm, that's pretty good to protect c2. I was totally expecting him to take with either the queen or the bishop there. So, nice move. Um, do I want a castle here? I'll think about this. He has two defenders on c2. I have two attackers. So maybe I just want to go and add another attacker there or something. Maybe it's time to bring the knight out as well. Let's be good people in castle already. I think I'm expecting this pawn push next. I'm expecting the pawn push, so I kind of want to let the light square bishop breathe here. So I think I'm just going to bring the knight out here. It's going to be a bit awkward. I don't want to trap the bishop in is the thing. So... He could push the pawn up, but then I can always just go here and fork d2 and e3. And I got the best sleep of my life last night. It was awesome. Seems like once or twice a month, the kids just don't wake up in the middle of the night. And it's incredible. It is so nice. So, so, so nice. I wish it could happen every night. Having uninterrupted sleep, man, is something I don't take for granted anymore. People ask me, what do you want for Christmas? Yeah, I just want the kids to sleep all night. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I want. Um... I think going for the check here is pointless. Question is, do we go back to G6 or H7 here? I think we just have to go back to h7 because if i go g6 he goes h5 and then i'm in the same predicament that i was in uh no this pawn's not loose i was thinking maybe i could try to get the queen but his uh, d4 knight is protecting uh, f3 there it's so probably knight c4 is the next move try to go after these and force this queen to move around and i can probably just get rid of the bishop already 
I think his dark square bishop is kind of valuable here since all my pawns are more or less on light squares at the moment. Right? And it's not this d6 situation to take care of as well. Don't worry, bud. I didn't forget about you. Give him a little pat on the head there. <laughs> I won't be too surprised if he starts pushing pawns up my king side. Yeah, chess.com has this really weird bug where um, the width of the page changes for some reason, and I can't figure out why. I use like the window resizing tool to make sure my uh, browser window is uh, half of my screen. So it never changes, but for some reason the like horizontal scroll bars show up and I've never been able to figure out why. It kind of just like messes with my video layout. Not that they really care about that or need to worry about it, but... Just makes things weird when I try to do like um, the moves with the arrows because it registers in the browser and in the game at the same time, so it just kind of makes the videos weird, but whatever. Another question, take with the pawn. Kind of don't want to take with the pawn. I'd rather take with the rook here, I feel. Pawn or rook? I think I prefer the open C file for the rook here. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's a very interesting move. Kind of expecting the pawn to go up to g5 next. Hmm. I want to try to win this pawn here. I wonder if I go something like g6, try to trade off and open up the g file here. Mm -hmm. On b5 is an idea. Queen b6. I think I'm going to play the pawn move. I want to start storming stuff up his side of the board. His, uh, excuse me, his king side of the board. But I want to get my queen out to something like b6, but I don't want to block the pawn in. That's the plan, at least.
This pawn's a bit loose here. Knight f6, maybe? Attack this pawn. I don't want to go knight f6. It's a bit of a double attack. Right? Even if he pushes the pawn up, I guess I can recapture and then just hop my knight over to e4 there. Did have a nice spot for the bishop here too. Maybe I should have gone for that. Maybe. These pieces are attacked now. I guess what was rough about pawn f4 was that as soon as I moved my knight, it exposed the attack on the pawn here. But when he pushed f4, it blocked his bishop from going to f4 and protecting that pawn. So... Oh yeah, what was I talking about earlier? So what happens after I hit a thousand elos? What happens to the channel? What happens to the videos? I uh, I want to keep making chess content. I think I'll just take the trade here. I'm probably just going to get pawn stormed. Um, I can probably go attack his queen. Actually, I think it's a bit more of a forcing move. Yeah, I want to keep making uh, chess content. Really enjoy doing it. I want to keep doing it, but I want to mix it up. Uh, I want to play more with the viewers. Oh, this is not looking good. I want to play more with the viewers. I'm kind of tempted to just let them take here, but done my bishop a disservice here. So I can win this pawn. He's going to take. If he gets his pawn over here to h6. It's going to be pretty bad news. Hmm. I think as soon as I open up this H file, I'm just going to be done. But yeah, I want to do a lot more viewer games. Um, I haven't been doing those as much as I'd like to. And uh, I think I'm going to do that a lot more. People ask me to play games all the time, but I just have like really limited bandwidth to how much uh, uh, chess I can devote to every day. Um, but I think once I hit 1,000 ELO, I'm going to take a break from like just ELO grinding and just try to focus more on just like playing with people that want to play. That's the plan for now, at least. Okay, so I'm not too worried about this pawn. I'm more concerned about what's going on over here. I'm just wondering how I can like create a bigger threat. Um, I kind of want to open up this diagonal for light square bishop again. But I just don't really have a great spot for the knight to go to anymore. I guess he still does have three defenders for this pawn. Uh... Yeah, I think letting him get his pawns this far up was a bit of a blunder. I guess we... Mm -mm. Let's think here. Takes with the pawn. Uh, it's a bit rough. I could take... No, I can't take it. It's going to be... It's going to be losing. I think he's going to push up, and then, like, what do I do from there?
I have to go G6, right? Hmm. I can't I don't really want to go King H eight because that's on the same file as this rook here. <laughs> Kinda debating. No, I don't really want to go F six because he just pushes a G six and I lose. <laughs> I'm uh, debating between taking with the knight and taking with the queen here. I kind of want to take with the knight. Although being able to put my knight back on f6 I feel like is going to be valuable. Maybe I just move my rook over so my king can slide over. Uh, no, how do I do this without losing a bishop? I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know. I think I'm just going to take with the queen. Maybe I can try to double up the rooks here and just try to win a little bit faster on c2. Just an idea. Yeah, I saw that coming. So I think I'm just losing a bishop here, right? Hmm. Yeah, a bit unfortunate. I get checked and then I'm basically just dead. Um. Yeah, if I get checked here by the pawn, I'm kind of dead. Thinking about queen g3, offering the trade. It's queen g3, boom, 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 boom. And his pawn's going to be a bit stuck. Yeah, I'm thinking about that. I'm losing a bishop here no matter what. And I don't see better move for me. Maybe I could try to attack his knight. Um, that's just an idea. Maybe I just go queen. Queen b4. Hmm. Maybe knight f6 and then just recapture this with the with the knight. Hmm. If I lose the bishop here, it's it's gonna be GG. I'll just get mated here on H7. Kind of just wanna um go for the trade here, just to remove the queen from the G file here. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. There's probably a better move I could play there, but I'm just not super sure what it was. Probably king h8 next, I imagine. I'll be shocked if he doesn't take the bishop. I mean, 
obviously. Doesn't go for the bishop. Maybe I should have just taken the pawn there. Maybe the bishop was more valuable here. Maybe I should have given up the knight. Hmm. That's just an idea. I'm not sure. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, if I take the pawn, I lose. No, I don't lose. Because I'll be able to go king f6, uh, excuse me, king f7. I mean, he checks me, but I just go over here. Hmm. I think that may have been a blunder there. Yeah, so this is not a big deal. I can trade rooks off, but so what? Hmm. I think that was actually better for me. I think he should have taken that bishop personally. But that's just my two cents. Maybe he has a grand plan that we don't know about yet. Nubiators would do such a thing. Really surprised he didn't take the the bishop there. That was a very very good move. Mm. Mm. I guess I'll just go back and attack. Get checked here or something. He's still double attacked here. Mm -hmm. Still attack this way. Um, when in doubt, move towards the center, I guess. <clears throat> oh. Solid move there. Pins the knight. Attack the bishop. I need to unpin this. It's going to be pretty important. I need to move the knight. Well, yeah, this, I guess that's the sucky part is I can't really move the knight. And the king doesn't really have like a great spot to go to besides e7. Or uh, e5, but even that's like pretty risk. But when in doubt, move the king towards the center, I guess. I'd probably just go back here, here. Yeah.
kind of do just have mates in the back rank. Uh, if I can get my rook back there. I doubt that'll happen, though. Obviously, he's a good player, so he's not going to let that happen. I'm trying to keep uh, my pieces on light squares as much as possible here. Kind of the idea, since he has a dark square bishop. Thinking about trading the rook off on e8. Since the bishop is covering that square. Yeah, I'm trying to stay on light squares as much as possible. Interesting move. I know I have an extra pawn, but I don't think I can win with that one extra pawn. Um, just my take. But I don't know. Maybe I just want to make moves here just to, for the sake of playing faster. I think I'll just go here and try to scope this pawn after I move the knight. Going for this pawn, I suppose. 
Um, so I can block that in. May attack that. Oh, in which case I'll just... Oh, that was really dumb. I, like, super hung that. <laughs> yeah, that was really dumb. Whoops. <laughs> it was all going so well up until that point. Ah, yeah, this is pretty GG at this point. Ah, yeah, I kind of messed that up. I definitely messed that up. Man, I actually thought I had a chance. <clears throat> thought I had a chance up until then. I got too fixated on this pawn, and I totally ignored that that was under attack, but... Oh, well, what can you do? <laughs> Let's finish. <laughs> it ain't over till it's over. Yeah. <laughs> Double whoops. <laughs> My brain short circuited at this point. Uh, GG. Yeah, GG. Yeah, I made that one blunder there. It reminds me of that game yesterday where. The guy hung uh, hung both of his pieces at the end. Oh no, I'm fully trapped. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, nice. GG. Thing. I, I would have liked to have seen how far... Uh, this would have gone if I wouldn't have hung that bishop. Uh, it was a bit of a bummer. I'm curious how it was up until that point. Let's see, so he had the big advantage here. Yeah, I think he should have taken that pawn. I think I see I saw what he was going for, but once the pawn was gone from g6, it allowed the king to get out to f7. So and then um but obviously he had the huge advantage here. Um, his pawn storm. That queen move was really good. I wonder what the engine says about taking with the knight here. Not so good. So I guess taking with the queen was much better there. And taking with the pawn there was the right move. Looks like the queen trade on g3 was a decent idea at least. Uh, what should I have done here, actually? Takes? Yeah. I was talking about that during the game. Basically just giving up. Giving up uh, that rook there. Or, excuse me, the knight there. And then just going back. B3. C7, sure. Okay. Good move there. Yeah, the pawn storm. What can you do? Yeah, he gave me a really big chance here. Um, yeah. Would have been nice to see how this would go. I, I I was too focused on the pawn and I just ignored this. For some reason I thought it was an attack on a6. Uh, my brain kind of just short-circuited here. But uh, yeah, what can you do? I guess I could have offered this as well. Right? This would have still been perfectly fine. Yeah, I blocked in with the wrong piece there. Bit of a blunder, but what can you do? Well, hey, I I uh I hung on against an 1150 for 40 moves. I'm happy about that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I can't complain. But yeah, noobiator, thanks for the game, man. Thanks guys for watching. See you in the next one.